It's a busy time of year. Welcome into the recruiting roundup. This is Jason Jewell. My name is Jared Cohen, bringing you the latest in high school football recruiting in the state of Arizona. And if you tried following this guy on Twitter, it was exhausting with all the news coming down the pipeline. Jason, you ready? <laughs> There's just so much stuff to bring here. So many commitments last week, and it was crazy, Jared. A ton of commitments. Let's get right into it. The first one came up from Tucson, a big one from the 2014 class, Cameron Denson. The University of Arizona made their mark on the 2014 class, Landing Denson. He went on an unofficial visit and loved the school, said it's where he always wanted to play. It was his dream school. Going to be like Kadeem Carey, be a star in his hometown down in Tucson. And Rich Rod is getting a huge player, a potential top five kid in the 2014 class. Now, this 2014 class, this is this is one of the best we've seen in Arizona in a long time. Maybe ever. Who knows? It's going to depend on how it pans out. Both, both coaches, Todd Graham and Rich Rod, wanted to make a statement with this 2014 class. This was a pretty big one so far. Getting, getting Denson, he's a kid who can play on either side of the ball. He's a top 300 prospect nationally, but this potentially could lead other Tucson kids uh, to come down and, and commit to U of A as well. Where we got Sabino uh, teammates, Andrew Mike, a big offensive lineman, and tight end Matt Bushman, who are both heavily, heavily recruited players. Well, that's Arizona, and also NAU had a huge recruiting weekend last weekend, had some great players from in the state visiting the school, but that wasn't the news, the big news. The big news was they had three commitments that happened, two of them from Chandler High School. The first one, a tight end, very talented and big tight end, Patrick Baldenegro. Six foot five, well over 200 pounds. He's a kid, played slot receiver some for Coach Aguano at Chandler, has great hands. He's a kid who's only going to get bigger, thicker, had some BCS offers, FBS offers, decided to stay home and go to NAU. The second one, an offensive lineman at Chandler, a teammate of his, Tyler Shank, he also made a commitment. Another kid that have, had FBS offers from Idaho and from Air Force decided, hey, I'm going to stay home, I'm going to team with Patrick, and we're going to end up trying to make the Lumberjacks a Big Sky champion. Well, two great players coming out of Chandler. The final one, a former state champion out of Desert Vista. His name is Lorenzo Melvin, one of the top defensive players in the state. Two-time All-State player and a huge get for the Lumberjacks. He was heavily recruited at the F FCS level, had multiple offers, came down to NAU and South Dakota State, decided he wants to stay home and be a Lumberjack. Now here's a player that we mentioned as a sleeper prospect about halfway through the season. His name is Clarence Smith out of Yonker. He made a commitment to North Dakota State over the weekend, but that only tells part of the story. So he goes on his unofficial visit and he committed to the, the def two-time defending FCS champions. Comes home Monday, gets a, a visit from Coach Finn from University of Utah. The Utes offered him a gray shirt offer, meaning that he could well, still sign on signing day, but enroll uh, in next January in Utah. And he decided to decommit from NDSU and is going to take a trip to University of Utah January 25th. And Clarence Smith, he's young for a senior, isn't he? He's only 16 right now, but he's 6'3", six, six 215 pounds, so he's only going to get bigger. So Clarence Smith will have the opportunity to gray shirt and develop if he decides to go to Utah, and then he could try to take a spot for the Utes playing Pac-12 football. A couple other commitments were Ivy League commitments that happened over the weekend. Brophy's Diamani Grayer, he committed to Yale, and Zach Davis from Lake Havasu, he committed to Dartmouth. Now, now, there's a couple other players that are still undecided. Let's talk about a couple of them. The first one, Devin Allen visited at Stanford last weekend. He's got some more uh, visits coming up. What's the latest with him? So he went to Stanford and liked it, but has not been officially accepted to the school. He was supposed to visit Arkansas this weekend, had a scheduling conflict, and he is now going to visit Arkansas the last weekend, February 2nd, and then probably decide on signing day. And another guy, quarterback out of Liberty, Tyler Rogers, a guy that we mentioned before the season started as a, as a sleeper prospect, a very talented quarterback. Well, he finally got another offer. So he had Air Force and South Dakota State offers prior to the senior season. And we were all baffled why he didn't have more offers. It took a long time, but he finally was offered by the University of North Dakota. Took an official visit there. But also keep in mind, Oregon State and Nevada are also highly interested, and we're going to see him throw this week. So keep an eye on Tyler Rogers. He's going to be playing in the Canyon Coast All-Star Game, which is head coached. He's going to be playing in that game, which is the head coach, Jason Jewell. Keep an eye out that, on that. That's on MLK Day coming up on Monday. That has, that's it for us on the Recruiting Roundup this week. Going to have even more news for you next week, so make sure you stay with us. But until then, that's Jason Jewell. My name is Jared Cohen. You're watching the Recruiting Roundup on ProsToPreps.com.